Hello viewers. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the self-help reading part three, reading for information. Let's see what we have here. Let's get started. Reading for information, Quebec City. This reading module has 12 questions similar to the kinds of questions that you can expect to find on an actual self help test. Part 1. Directions. Read the following passage. Paragraph A. Canada consists of so many beautiful and interesting places that are definitely worth visiting. One such place is Quebec City, the capital of Quebec. It was settled by the French in the 1500s, making it Canada's oldest city. It is located in the province of Quebec which is situated in Eastern Canada. Quebec City is the province of Quebec's second largest city after Montreal. While Montreal is a more cosmopolitan city, Quebec has a more old world flavored and charm that distinguishes it from other North American cities. It is in fact one of the top travel destinations in North America. Paragraph B. The original city was a walled fortress designed to protect it from being attacked. However, now it sprawls well beyond its original borders. Central Quebec City is now punctuated by Chateau Frontenac, a majestic old hotel that sits atop an embankment overlooking the St. Lawrence River. The hotel is easily recognizable by its fortress-like architecture and its distinctive green roof. The hotel is famous not only in Canada, but around the world. It appears in travel brochures, postcards, and tourism videos. Although it is over 100 years old, Chateau Frontenac remains a relevant popular tourist attraction in the city of Quebec. Paragraph C. Below the hotel sits Lower Town, the remaining old part of Quebec City. Here you can find narrow streets lined with charming old buildings that date back centuries. The European influence of the architecture in Lower Town is apparent. Thousands of tourists come here from around the world to wander around Lower Town, strolling past sidewalk cafes and art artists who display their art for sale. Tourists take pictures of the wonderful cobblestone streets and stone buildings, reminiscent perhaps more of old European and appearing like nothing North American. Those who love shopping can get they are filled with the dozens of clothing boutiques and souvenir shops that contain something for everyone. D. Centuries after being settled as a French colony, Quebec City retains its French flavor both culturally and linguistically. As Quebec is a predominantly French-speaking city, it is much more common to encounter a conversation in French than in English. As such, if you are planning to visit this wonderful city, it is in your best interest to learn a few phrases in French before you go. For example, being able to say hello, excuse me, how much is this, and thank you, will go a long way in helping you communicate successfully with the locals. Paragraph E, of course, is not mentioned, is what you're supposed to say if a question is not mentioned in the paragraphs. Part two directions. Decide which paragraph A, B, C, or D contains the information in each of the following statements. If the information is not discussed in any of the paragraphs, choose E. Question number one. The original settlement was bigger than the present day city. A, B, or C. D or E, which is the right answer. 
the original settlement was bigger than the present day city. So is there a talk about any settlement here? They are just talking about it was settled by the French in the 1500s, making it Canada's oldest city. So there is no mention of a comparison by saying the original settlement was bigger than the present day city. So it is not mentioned he is the right answer, folks. All right. Question number two. French is important in Quebec. A or B, C, D or E. French is important in Quebec. Where there is a mention, we have to see. Canada consists of so many beautiful and interesting places that are definitely worth visiting. One such place is Quebec City. While Montreal is more cosmopolitan, Quebec has a more old flavor. So we are not getting any answer in the paragraph A. Now, let's look at the paragraph B. The original city was a walled fortress designed to protect it from being attacked. However, now it sprawls well beyond its original borders. So they are only talking about the hotel and the other uh, tourist uh, you know, uh, destination and about Quebec, how it appears in travel brochures, the uh, Chateau, Fontenoc or whatever, which is a hotel. So C is below the hotel sits lower town, the remaining old part of the Quebec city. Here you can find narrow streets lined with charming old building that date back centuries. So in C, those who love shopping can get their fill with their dozens of clothing boutiques and souvenir shops. Centuries after being settled as a French colony, Quebec City retains its French flavor, both culturally and linguistically. What is the question? French is important in Quebec. So D should be the right answer because if you were to visit France, then being able to say hello, excuse me, how much is this or thank you will go a long way is what they are saying. So French is important in Quebec. So D is the right answer. All right. Something in Quebec is well known. What is well known? A or is it B, C or D or E? Something is well known. So the Chateau Fontenoc which is a hotel is well known, which is there in the B, we already read it. All right, let's go back to the, so B is the right answer for question number three, something in Quebec is well known because it's there in postcard and everywhere. So question number four, one thing is wonderful, A, B, C, D or E. So one thing is wonderful. So we have to see what is wonderful in Canada. Okay, in D paragraph I see as such, if you are planning to visit this wonderful city, it is in your best interest to learn a few phrases. Even that is there only in D. So we have to find out the keywords, which is very, very important. So for the question number, one thing is wonderful is in D paragraph. So we have just inferred it anyway. Question number five, the city was settled in France. City was settled in France. So we can see it was settled by the French in the 1500s making it Canada's oldest city. So is this the answer? Is it the correct answer? We have to just check it once by reading the other paragraphs as well. The city was settled in France. Okay, so how the city can be settled in France? It's already there in Canada. So it should be E, I guess. All right, so we got the answer. Six, something might remind us of another place. A, or is it B? C, D, or E. Something might remind us of another place.
So here we see in C paragraph, the European influence of the architecture in lower town is apparent, thousands of tourists, and then uh, reminiscent perhaps more of old Europe. So we have the answer here. So it looks as though it is like the old Europe, all right? So in Canada, how can you find an old Europe? So that is what they are saying, that it looks like one. So something might remind us of another place. So C is the right answer. Seven, people do sh should do something. Is it A paragraph, B, or C paragraph, or D paragraph, or E? All right. People should do something. So I think it should be D because it says centuries after being settled as French colony, Quebec city retains its French flavor both culturally and linguistically. As Quebec is predominantly French speaking city, it is much more common to encounter conversation. So they are engaging in conversation in French than in English. They should engage in French than English. That's what it's mentioned here. So it should be D. Some, okay. People do should do something. Question number eight. So the answer for people should do something is D. All right. Question number eight. The hotel sits below something. Is it A or B? C or D or E sits below something. The hotel sits below something. So let's go to the paragraph B where there is a mention of Chateau Fontenac, a majestic old hotel that sits atop. So it says atop an embankment overlooking the St. Lawrence River. On top is not something below. So it should be E. All right. Question number nine, a body of water is mentioned. A body of water is mentioned. Is it A, B, C, D or E? We already saw that it's St. Lawrence River. So it's mentioned in paragraph B. We just could deduce and infer that it's in B. Question number 10, some people show something. So is it in A, B, C, D, or E. Some people show something. What do they show? I saw somewhere here that some people show something. So pe tourists take pictures of the wonderful cobblestone streets and stone buildings reminiscent perhaps more of old Europe and appear like nothing North American. Those who love shopping can get their fill with the dozens of clothing boutiques and souvenirs shops that contain something for everyone. So, so C is the right answer. Some people show something. So they take pictures and they also go and do the shopping. Question number 11. Something is located in high place. We already saw in B that Saint Lawrence River is located atop the bank. I mean, the sorry, Chateau Fontenoc is located atop of uh, the embank embankment of St. Lawrence River. So B should be the right answer. Something is located in high place. Which is located in high place? On top of the river is the Chateau Fontenoc. All right. Question number 12. A certain colored item stand out A. Or is it B, C, D or E? A certain colored item stands out. We saw in B where it says Okay, let's read it. The original city was a walled fortress designed to protect it from being attacked. However, now it, it sprawls well beyond its original borders. Central Quebec City is now punctuated by Chateau Fontenoc, a majestic old hotel that sits atop an embankment overlooking the St. Lawrence River. The hotel is easily recognizable by its fortress-like architecture and its distinctive green roof. 
So B should be the right answer for question number 12. A certain colored item stands out. Okay, uh, viewers, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you on the other side. This is Sridhar signing off from Selpip Academy. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the like button. Also comment below. Thanks for watching.